What's going on guys and welcome once again to our channel Cool Case Adventures. Your Central Florida family happens to be here at Universal Studios on a second day here in Mardi Gras. If you have not watched that video, hopefully you've seen it. Mardi Gras already had their opening day. We were here trying some food, got, uh, checking out all the entertainment. Catching some food. Exactly. We saw the parade. So today is a little bit different. Today we're gonna be on the other side of the spectrum. Yes. Tonight, what we're we gonna do? Throwing the beads. We are part of the parade, so we will be, like Carla said, throwing the beads, and we're super excited. We have done this before, and we love it. I like it. It I like is. It, a lot. it is such. <laughs> it is such a fun like experience. So definitely check it out because we're gonna be sharing with you every single thing that we have to do in order to find a reservation and then the process that you have to follow when you come over here to check in and all that. So I hope you guys are ready because we have a lot to show you today. Also, don't forget to subscribe and to smash that like button if we're sharing any valuable content with you. Guys, are we ready? Yes. Awesome, because I am. So what are we waiting on? So let's go. Well, wait, Mom, hit the intro. Mom, hit it. <laughs> Universal, thank you. Thank you for putting the historical medallion that was missing out on the first day of celebration of Mardi Gras. Also, thank you for greeting us with louder music because that, that was missed yesterday, right? Oh, yeah, yes. I felt like and I was. And the music out there was kind of like cool. really toned down, like it's very soft. So I'm hoping it's a little louder today. I know. I felt like I wasn't celebrating anything yeah, no, yesterday. It was like another day. Although I had a blast, I had a blast. So today is a different day. Let's see what we have to do once we are inside the park in order to check in to be part of the float. Park closes to nine at seven o'clock. It's an early parade, I think it's at 6.15. And we're gonna be behind the scenes with a couple of these guys. Happy Mardi Gras. Depending what float is our, depending what float they give us this year, we may not see them, but it's kind of cool to be able to like hang out with them for a little bit, right? Yeah, when they're out. When they're out and about. And this is something you could do most of the time. They come out here to interact with you, the guests, take pictures with them. So definitely come and see them. In case you haven't watched our first video, we told you that about two hours before, start looking for your spot. As you can see, people already have got their spot. It is five o'clock. Parade happens to be at 6.15. Also, this section over here is for the annual pass holder. So a really, really good section. If you can, get that one over there. That way you catch me more bits. Catch more bits over there. You also catch more bits over there. This is where you do the check-in. You gotta come here to the Animal Actors Theater and then come over here and do the check-in. They tell you to be an hour up to an hour and 45 minutes before your the parade in it so it's almost 5 15 so we're still here on time so the first thing you're gonna do is actually find your email confirmation and you're gonna show them that you are an annual pass holder because that's how we were able to make that reservation then you come over here and then do the same thing they have like a checking computer in here and they're gonna give us some waivers to sign and then we'll keep moving forward from there. So after you check in, they give you your wristbands. And now we're about to get the waivers. So once we fill out the waivers and we'll move, we'll move on, we go to the theater. If you were wondering how long the waiver form, form is, you gotta fill out these for us and the kids too, right? Yes, the that, kids have this one. Oh, the orange one. That means that we cannot push the kids off the floor. That's pretty much what he's saying. Yeah. Exactly. We gotta keep them on the floor. Universal is not responsible if the kids fall it's off not their the floor. Beach, not the kids. Exactly. So that's what's going on. They also show us who was gonna be our team leader as well. We will get to wear uh, pink. A, a pink apron in representation of our flow. This is very interesting, guys. So. They just announced that more spots have been open and if you wait over here, you'll be able to hear the announcement. And once they said 
it's going to be open now. Go. People sign up through the virtual queue. Some of them got it. Some of them didn't. And those that got it now, they're more than welcome to follow the same process. So there you go. If you don't find it at noon, come over here in the afternoon up to one hour before. And that's, you'll be able to participate on this. After you have signed your waiver, you got to pick up. Look, what are you going to be wearing? Karen? Yes. Good luck tying and this thing like on. doing this whole thingy, which is going to come apart halfway through the float. But it's okay. It's going to it's gonna get untied a couple of times when throughout the night. When you really your bead throwing, this is going to come untied. Exactly. Now also, keep in mind that you're supposed to keep this on from this point forward all the way until you get off of the float. Beautiful attire. So they give you the wristband, but, but this becomes a, you know... Now, instead of wristband, they look at us now with this pink is my color. beautiful pink color that Kalel is having a hard time. There you go. Seems like you're working. Sashay. Sashay. There you go. <laughs> Once you are done, they actually take you, take a picture of you and the family, which is cool. And then they tell you to find your section, which is the king and queen. And this is what we sit down now. They give us a specific time, up to a specific time that we go use the bathroom. And then what they do, they intro the leaders introduce themselves and they kind of get their crowd going, you know, get them hyped up, you know, because this is what it's all about, to have fun. So when you go into your float, you're, you're hyping out the crowd. It's party time, baby. It's party time. You see? So this is what goes on behind the scenes before before we go out on the float, in case you guys were wondering. So they just call the king and queen float, which is our float. So basically what we do now, they're gonna take us backstage, which this is the first time that we actually go this way. Normally it's the other way, basically through the kid zone, but the kid zone is under construction right now, as most of you know. So they're gonna take us backstage to our float but once we're backstage, we cannot film anything or take any pictures. So possibly the next time you see us is gonna be right about when the gates open. Oh, and we got the signal now that we're out of the backstage. We're going into the crowd. So now as soon as we're able to throw beats, I mean, past the gate, we can start throwing. Here we go. This is so fun. The only issue is we don't have that much space today. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna face ourselves. I'm gonna see if I can make it back there. Oh. So it's a challenge trying to make it back there. So let's see if we make it back there. There you go. I got it. I got it. All right, really quick, so we are in the king and queen flow right over here. The king and queen are up here. This is super fun. We're making a turn. We're kind of like tight over here. <laughs> so we're taking turns to throw. Karen and I are both towards the back. Kalel and Kyle in the front. Planning a vacation can be very exciting, but also very stressful. Sometimes it's hard to plan when you don't have all the answers needed or you're not sure about what process to follow. Trust us when we say it can be very time consuming. This is the reason why we encourage you to contact us and allow us the opportunity to be your travel agent. Cool Case Adventures is affiliated with PCO Travel and our main goal is to help you plan your dream vacation so you can create the best memories of your life. Whether you want to go to Universal Studios Florida or Universal Studios Hollywood, we will be able to assist you planning every step of the way. We are certified Universal Studios travel agents and recognized as a universal preferred travel agency. And our knowledge in the parks, restaurants, and hotels can definitely help you with your planning. The best part is that it will not cost you anything extra. Let's start planning your next adventure. And for now, all you have to do is fill out a questionnaire in the description below and we will be contacting you. It's harder to throw. When you don't have space, it's a lot harder to throw. And then it get, they get tangled up on the hooks over here, so it, it puts me behind. Working with one hand specifically. But still super fun, there you go. That's it, that's it. Kalele and I are like squeeze over here. It's making it harder of us. There you go. This is 
super cute. They actually have a section over here for the kids. So it's always kind of cool to throw beats to them. And you may ask what happened if we run out of beats. Uh, they restock them. They got boxes and boxes of beats, one after the other. Obviously, they don't give us like thousands, but you know, we're making their turn now from Hollywood Boulevard into right in front of this makeup on me. This, this part always gets tricky. We have legit past the new ride now over here, uh, Villain Con. Kalo has run out of beats like already. three times already. Even though we keep giving him from our stack. But you gotta slow down, dude. You gotta slow down. You know, we're not even halfway through yet. Kala, how you doing over there, Kala? I just lost all my beats. Your what? I just lost all my beats. And I lost my beats like three times. Oh boy. They need they need more beats. They need more beats. Now Karen has Karen is a big keeper, I guess. The the stalker of the beats. Uh, look at look at our king and queen over there. We're having a blast. So this is the future Minion Cafe. What it used to be pretty much Monster Cafe right there. That's pretty cool. It has been stripped completely from everything inside, as you can see. Whatever, whatever you do, do not go to his area. His area is too hard. I'm gonna have to overtoss so some people in the back and get some. We got people in the back that focus on the front, that's even easier. Alright, Alel is going crazy. Let's see. Give it. Throw it in the throw it in the three dozen count, all right? I feel like today we had less beat than usual. We're not even halfway through. Now we're halfway through. Now that we're in New York, and we already don't have that many beats left. Now, if you happen to have an ECV, they do have parking for you over here, right across the mommy. And if I'm not mistaken, there's gonna be more confetti. The second confetti cannon is supposed to go off soon. Uh, second confetti cannon, yeah, exactly. Passing the mommy. This is how it looks. That's pretty cool. Now we happen to be right in front of Starbucks. And people, people are having a blast. I'm trying to give him towards the back. There you go. It's always cool, guys. I'm telling you, if you can sign up, go for it. You want to have a blast. That was pretty good. That was pretty smart. A guy has a basketball hoop. A SpongeBob. A SpongeBob. Basketball hoop. That's. That's genius, and I made it. I I made it. I made it like when he was looking at the other truck. I do it. This is awesome. Now we're right in front transformer. They remember asking for a beat. I don't have any. I I kind of run out of them. Yeah, we ran out of beats. I don't. That's all I got. Maybe Kyla, can I get two or three for the last people? She gave me one. What the heck? All right, there you go. And so the other side of this flow is out. We got to basically face ourselves. We just ran out. This is crazy. Man, I've never been on a flow that we run out of beats. This is crazy. Now, if we were to have a bunch of beats, this is where you go crazy, but we don't have any. Oh, you still have some. You still have some. Hey, these are anal, these are anal pass holders. So make sure anal pass holder. You gotta give them to them. Anal pass holder. Here goes to my feet. Here it goes. These are for the APs right over here. If you're actually an anal pass holder, this is the way to go, people. 
Now hold that last one. When you come over here, hold that last one. So we're there flow. We're having to be there flowing in front of the gator. So we're the second to last. We're completely out. Kyla has one more, I think. First time, I'm telling you, first time that we have run out of beats. Hey! Adrian! Here's Adrian! It was fun, guys. It was fun. Yeah. I love Mardi Gras. I just love Mardi Gras. Hola, we back. Alrighty, guys. Today you have it here from Universal Studios. What a fun event, Mardi Gras. How was it for you guys? As I, fun as always? I really, really enjoyed it. The only thing I didn't like about this year is that we ran out of beats so quickly. I feel that it because it was a smaller flow. We didn't get a lot of beats, yeah. Right. What do you thought, buddy? Um, I kind of, I enjoyed it. I liked it, but I didn't like the end of it. Because we ran out. Because we ran out, and it felt like it was a lot shorter. And I feel so bad when we run out because you would see the little kids, and I'd be like, Yeah, I'm yeah, like, we did. And definitely, this is the first time it happened to us that we're on a float that we actually run out. Um, there's still boxes left, or maybe one or two packs. But anyway, other than that, we highly recommend for everybody to try this experience. It's amazing. It's super fun. We're ready to show you guys how you could probably get a last minute virtual uh, in the virtual queue. So, Hope that was helpful for you guys. But anyway, sadly this adventure has ended. But with that said, we gotta remind everybody to subscribe and to smash that like button to turn the bell notifications. Bing bing bing, and feel free to comment down below. As member two, smile out, be great, be cool, and stay awesome. See you guys next adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Boom boom boom. See ya. Happy Mardi Gras.